Well, from Saturday's bitter cold to Sunday's warm rain to today's strong winds, I, Mother Nature has really given us a, a grab bag yeah, here over the past couple days. We couldn't hit 50 all month. November was just like too cold. <laughs> right? and we had 50 on Sunday and 55 at one time today in many areas. So now the winds have changed. So it's back out of the, <laughs> the winds. But I'm bummed. Yeah. They, are, <laughs> they are coming back from the direction that's going to keep us cold for most of this holiday week. And that'll mean some slippery roads from time to time. And that's what we're watching tonight. But the winds aren't done, as you pointed out earlier. They're still going pretty strong. Take a look. And the wind speeds, these are the consistent winds. So in other words, if we were checking in every five minutes or so, this is kind of the wind we'd be finding on the average. If 24 miles an hour in Lansing, 20 in Jackson, still 32 there in Hastings. So it goes up a little bit and comes back down again. That's very typical with the wind field that goes around the large little pressure center. There are still some gusts. Not as much in the 40s anymore. I own you're at 39, 33 in Lansing, so the gusts are coming down. And that's pretty much what we're going to lose tonight are these really gusty winds. It'll still be windy. You'll wake up and it'll still be windy. Very noticeable through the day tomorrow, but not like the numbers we have seen since the midday of today. Well, we can figure a wind chill and it's in the teens, so bundle the kids up in the morning hours. The wind chills will be in the teens, maybe even lower teens when you start things uh, tomorrow with the breeze still going on. The storm system's way north now, but we're still seeing some of that snow come off the lake. It's still a southwest flow, so the snow showers we're getting here have originated in northern Illinois and Iowa and made its way all the way around. So we're going to see a few of these. Temperatures flirting with the freezing mark right now, so there will be some slick spots, especially when the winds become more westerly by morning and bring in the snow bands right off the lake. This has been some significant snow in Wisconsin. Now it's in Traverse City. Petoskey headed up to the UP, changing over the ground that was white to start of the weekend then ended up being washed away. Now it's going back. But you see our snow showers coming in all the way from the northern part of Illinois. So there's not a lot, but you don't need much to slide on, so be careful. We had a high temperature at one time in the mid-50s across the area. The current number is the low for the day, and everybody flirting with freezing from 127 westward. Still a few above freezing temperatures, but it will stay in the upper 20s in the overnight period. And with that wind out of the southwest, we're getting actually colder from that direction. Warmer weather's off to our northeast, so there's still enough cold air, kind of similar to last week. That'll be around most of the rest of this week. Here's a wider view, and you see all that snow cover starting to go north. It's uh, not much in the way of sunshine tomorrow. Maybe a few breaks. You can see off to the northwest there's some drier weather working in. That'll be later in the day. So the bigger picture's got the low to the north. This is a residual effect. A nice low pressure going up the east coast. That won't bother us. But this little disturbance here will, and it's coming in at a bad time for holiday travelers. Take a look as we go through the night here. We've got these uh, on again, off again snow bands coming in from place to place. Some areas will be fine, some will not. They fall apart in the afternoon, so everything is fine. Now we go into Tuesday night and Wednesday, clearing out the skies, and Wednesday should be a mostly sunny start to the day. If you have to travel Wednesday in our state, going north is not bad at all. Now look at out here, that's the next low pressure. If you're traveling Wednesday afternoon to Chicago or Milwaukee or Green Bay, you'll run into that snow, and then that light snow comes over us Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Just enough, I think, to coat the ground and probably get the roads a little bit slick, so that will interfere with the early travelers on Thanksgiving Day. The cold weather still rotating through. It will go north for about a day on Saturday to get us back near 40. I think next week we may moderate it even a little bit more, but it's going to be a lot of up and down now here as we go into early December, depending on the wind direction. 27 by morning, there'll be a few snow showers around, and the winds will be around in the daytime as well. Our 1-800 Hanson's weather kit, well, that is Jaslyn. She's six years old from Grand Ledge, and you'll need all the winter garb tomorrow. Only around 30 for a high. The wind chills will be around 20, and you'll run into a snow shower. Your seven-day outlook, well, there's not a lot of warmth for this holiday week. In fact, we got slight snow Thursday, and of course, if you're traveling Wednesday to the west, there'll be some snow. Saturday is probably not a great weather day either because it's a mixture of rain and wet snow, only 40 degrees. So when you're shopping, you know, try to get the close parking spot, right? Yeah, <laughs> Good like luck. That, that'll happen. <laughs> Readings do stay above freezing, though, the, towards the weekend and early next week. But uh, Thursday might be good instead of doing early shopping, just get to the relatives early and start eating. Yeah, I like that plan. And, Thanksgiving, and watch it snow. Thanksgiving's my favorite holiday. Great food. Yeah, good uh, birthday. Uh, good birthday, too. All right, Andy, thank you.